Act 5, Scene 5. Blast of military music, trumpets and drums. Richard and Richmond enter. They fight. Richard is killed. The trumpet sounds the signal of retreat. Richmond retreats. Richmond and Stanley, bearing the crown, return with several lords. Richmond. God in your work be praised. Victorious friends, the day is ours. The bloody dog is dead. Stanley, offering him the crown. Courageous Richmond, you fought well. Here, I've taken back the stolen crown from that violent low life so it can grace your brows. Wear it, enjoy it, and make much of it. Richmond. Great God of heaven, say amen to all this, but tell me, is young George Stanley alive? Stanley, he is my lord and safe in Leicester, where, if you like, we can retreat to. Richmond, which gentlemen on each side have been killed? Stanley, John Duke of Norfolk, Walter Lord Ferrers, Sir Robert Brackenbury, and Sir William Brandon. Richmond, bury them in a manner appropriate to their noble births. Proclaim that I'll pardon the soldiers who fled, if they will return and submit to my rule. As I vowed, I will unite the York and Lancaster families. So Richmond continues. Heaven, for a long time you have frowned upon the hatred between them. Smile then on this beautiful union. What traitor hears me and doesn't say amen? England has long been so crazy that she was willing to hurt herself. Brothers blindly shed their brother's blood. Fathers rashly slaughtered their own sons. Sons were forced to butcher their fathers. All this further divided the two families which were already so badly divided. Now let Richmond and Elizabeth, the true heirs of each royal house, be joined together. And let their heirs, if you are willing, God, enrich the future with peace and plenty. Gracious Lord, blunt the swords of those traitors who mean to tear poor England apart again. Let those who would mar this fair land's peace with, with treason die before they can enjoy its wealth. Civil wounds now can heal, and peace can live again, so that England may live a long life like this. Let God say Amen. They all exit. That's it. So the guy Richmond from France is the one that ends up killing Richard. He's the one that saved England. But instead of him being old friends as the ruler, he wanted to bring the Lancasters and the Yorks together. I think one was French and one was England, English. Don't really know. I was all, I was wondering like Shakespeare, is he's from England, right? I was thinking like, if he's writing like this, kind of speaking bad about England. But he kind of made it where to bring them together at the end. So yeah. He th thought Richard would have had like a final say, you know, kind of like Hamlet. Uh, but I guess, I don't know, Shakespeare kind of just got it over with. But, um, my opinion on the book, uh, I like Hamlet a lot better. Just about the villain, Richard III, born deformed, just had a lot of bitterness because of his deformities. On to the next one. Until we meet again, Shakespeare. Peace.